Hi everyone, today teacher want to share with you about Mendelfer's Law or Law of Segregation. Have you ever wondered which one looks more similar to your face, your mother or your father, or combinations of both of them? Just take a look at this couple. The father has black eyes and a straight hair, while the mother has brown eyes and a curly hair. Let's see how their children look like. The first child has a straight hair same as her father and she has the brown eyes same as her mother. Second child has the curly hair same as his mother but he has the black eyes same as his father. And the youngest has curly hair same as her mother and black eyes same as her father. So this is called inheritance. Inheritance is a process by which genetic information is passed on from the parents to the children. That is why members of the same family tend to have a similar characteristic. The person who involved in this study is called Gregor Mendel. Gregor Mendel is also known as father of modern genetic. He is born in Austria. He is a monk and also a scientist. Mendel discovered the basic principle of heredity through an experiment in his garden by using a pea plant. Before we proceed what Mendel do, let's review a few terms related to this topic. In human, for example, we have 46 chromosomes in the nucleus of our somatic cell or 23 pairs of homologous chromosome. A pair of homologous chromosome consists of one chromosome from the father which is called paternal chromosome and another one from mothers which is called maternal chromosome. A pair of homologous chromosome have the same gene sequence, locus, chromosome and length and also centromere location. Genes are sections of DNA that determine certain characteristics. Examples of characteristics are the colours of the eyes and the type of hair. An gene is controlled by a pair of alleles. An N allele is a variant form of a gene. Dominant allele is one that always determines the phenotype when present. On the other hand, a recessive allele is one that is not expressed when it is paired with dominant allele. When the alleles are the same, they are known as homozygote. So, they are either homozygote dominant or homozygote recessive. And if the allele is different, they are called heterozygote. Genotype is the genetic contents or genetic codes of an organism. While phenotype is the expressions of the genotype or physical character of an organism that can be observed. So now, let's look at how Mendel do his experiment. For this experiment, Mendel used pea plant or pisum sativum. Pea plant is a bisexual flower. This is a stamen, which is the male reproductive organ, and this one is a pistil, the female reproductive organ. Stamen will produce pollen grain, while pistil contains ovule inside of the ovary. Firstly, Mendel will cut off the stamen of this purple flower and leave just the female reproductive organ. Then he take the pollen grain from the white flower and put on the stigma of the purple flower. 
Later, the fertilization is occurred. When the seed is produced, he plants the seed, observes and records their finding. So based on this first experiment, he found out that the first generations or the first filial produce 100% of purple flower. None of the plant produce white color flower. So he just wondering, what is happened to the white color flower? Is it the information is being vanished or deleted? To answer his questions, Mendel further out the experiment. Now, he do self-pollinating between two first filial generations plant which have the same trait. This time, he found that 75% of the offspring produced is purple in colour and 25% is white or the ratio is 3 purple to 1 white. Now, let's look at the schematic diagram. Why? The ratio is 3 purple to 1 white. Do you still remember right? Phenotype is a physical characteristic that we can see. And genotype is the genetic composition. So firstly, Mendel cross-pollinated between purple and white. So the phenotype of the parents are purple and white. Since Mendel used pure breed, so the genotype of the purple is homozygote dominant, which is BB. While the genotype of the white is homozygote recessive, which is BB. During formations of the gametes or meiosis process, these alleles are going to separate. So now you can see gamete will only contain one single allele. Then the fertilizations will occur randomly between the gametes. So here we can see all the genotype for the first filial is heterozygote dominant. The recessive allele cannot show its traits because they are pairing out with the dominant allele. That's why all the phenotype for the first filial is 100% purple. So now let's see what will happen if we self-pollinate between the first filial. So now, both of the phenotype for the first filial is purple. And genotype for this both first filial is heterozygote. During formations of the gametes or meiosis process, this pair of alleles are going to separate. The mate that produce will consist of a single allele, either dominant allele or recessive allele. Then the fertilizations will occur randomly between the gametes. To the fertilization process, we can see here the genotype of the second filial produce is 1. Homozygote dominant, 2. 
heterozygote and one homozygote recessive. And the phenotype for the second filial is three purple to one white. So as a conclusion, we can say that gene for the colors of the pea flower is controlled by a pair of allele, which are homozygote dominant BP or heterozygote or homozygote recessive BP. This pair of allele are going to separate during the formations of the gametes or meiosis process. Mate will only contains one single allele. So this is called Mendelfer's law or law of segregation. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Bye bye.